Running a Fever with your host, Michael Davis. Episode 96. Thank you, Amy. I do this show because I love my life and I want to make it last as long as possible by doing the right thing, exercising, and uh, keeping my diet, having a good healthy diet, and also taking advantage of the great medical care that I have access to in uh, any way that I need medical care. Diet department. <clears throat> so my current diet includes um, a serving of fruit, about a serving of fruit every day. It's been, you know, my diet's been changing quite a bit. I eat a lot more uh, fruit than I used to. I've been using my dehydrator a lot. And so I usually have some uh, dried apples or bananas that I can take to work. When you dehydrate something, it has the same calories as before you dehydrate it, because all you're removing is water. So a banana has, I don't know, 150 or so, something like that. Apple has 95 calories on average. And so that makes a good snack in between breakfast and lunch, in between lunch and supper. So yeah, that's pretty much every day what I have. now. It takes a long time to dehydrate these things. So I still like to have uh, some whey protein bars on hand and uh, yogurt. And I go to those when I need to. Usually those are good because you, I can pretty much keep them in work. Have a little fridge for the yogurt. The bars I can just keep in my desk. And uh, But I'm not having as much um, jerky as I used to. High protein snack, but really not much to it for the calories. Okay. I mean, you get an ounce, you know, an ounce of, you know, for, uh, you know, your 80 calories. <clears throat> Tasty, you know, I probably should keep some around just for variety. But that's uh, six ounces of light yogurt for the same caloric level. And uh, the fruits, since they're dried, they actually, you know, will rehydrate when you eat them. It's more than it looks like, but and it's very light when it's dehydrated. But uh, those are really good to fill you up. And they keep me from getting hungry, which is the main thing. I don't want to get hungry. I don't want to have unplanned times when I'm hungry. Howdy. I'm getting a light mist falling at Lake Atlanta today. Should we get a picture of this? Little waterfall thing. Spillway, yes. Where does that go? Debating whether to go off-road here. But I did take some pictures of uh, a nice little water spillway creek thing. And uh, just a little bit of the beauty you can experience here in northwest Arkansas. So at home, when I get hungry nowadays, I will usually have uh, peanuts or raisins, really, more often. Sometimes I have fresh fruit around, but it doesn't last long, so... You know, I'm pretty much if I get grapes, I have to just eat grapes every day and so forth. But yeah, I usually keep raisins around and uh, peanuts. I did have an allergic reaction to peanuts recently, which is unusual for me. But I'm kind of keeping an eye on that. There are other kinds of nuts that I like. Pecans, cashews. So I'm going to try to get some variety. These are higher in calories than the uh, you know other snacks that I have. So that's kind of why I'm having them these days because I'm not doing the extreme caloric restriction diet. Uh, not really caloric restriction. I just say low calorie, extreme low calorie diet that I was doing before. I have room for these higher, higher calorie snacks. I like P 
pickles also because they're zero calories but I don't snack on any vegetables really I might want to think about doing that but I think there's a lot of fruit in my life now in my routine and my diet and uh, I think that's a good thing I don't know I feel good uh, so we'll see I know it's probably better to have these whole foods than processed foods and I'm having I'm finding out more about diets in the uh, Blue Zones Solution book by Dan Buettner that I have been reading and I'll be talking about that a little more in the future and the kind of diets that it recommends. Amy asked me yesterday or a, a while back when I wrote these notes uh, what my go-to snack was in the old days and the only thing I could think of is I usually always had a one pound tub of chocolate chip cookie dough <laughs> That you don't have to make anymore you can just go to the store and buy it and then it's delicious howdy uh, i like to i like to have um those chocolate chip cookies with uh, bluebell's homemade vanilla ice cream flavor delicious of course that was probably about maybe maybe like 2,000 calories <laughs> in one uh, dessert snack whatever I used to eat a lot of that yeah so that was those was that was one of my go-to snacks that I had around and uh, again nothing's off limits in my diet but I mean so I was reading something, and this was in the Blue Zone Solution, that said that the average American man needs about 2,500 calories a day. So that's 80% of my calories in one dish. So what are these? It kind of looks like a pecan. Mm -hmm. but, it might be from the pecan. but they're all busted up. Maybe people are stepping on them. Might get some nuts right here on the trail. So yeah, 80% of my daily caloric intake in one dish. And every now and then, it's all right to do that, you know? You have a cheap meal, a bunch of calories, and you go back to your routine. I think that's a lot better than at some point just giving up on your diet and saying, well, I'm just gonna eat whatever I want all the time anyway. You, know, you can look forward to that you know if you go a couple of weeks without a cheat day or a cheap meal you can have a cheap meal and um, I think that's a good psychologically way to go about it I may be wrong that's just kind of what works for me I know that whenever I just said no I had no diets that everything was no no this no that no this never eat any whatever <laughs> Uh, that just did not work never worked for me at all because I mean what happens is like you concentrate on that thing you know whatever's in your mind and uh, if it's a negative it's still what you're concentrating on hi little, uh, terrier These terriers have those kind of whiskers right terrier poodle Poodlier, Teradoodle. Howdy. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, I'm pretty strong about that. But again, I've always talked about how, you know, I always say, become an expert in your own health because nobody can be an expert in everybody's health. We're all different. We have different metabolisms we have different genetic history we have different preferences you gotta figure out what works for you that's what I'm trying to do taking me on my journey of how I'm doing that I still have the used tubs that's one how one way you, know, you can tell that I ate a lot of the uh, chocolate chip cookie doughs because I still have the tubs they're really great they last forever they're plastic they you can now I keep frozen fruit in them so I keep healthy food in there now it's kind of ironic sometimes I put chicken in there from 
thawing out some chicken, something like that. So, but this is a, just an example how much things have changed. Hi. Right. Oh, we gotta get a we'll get a picture of this maybe on the other side. Oh, and there's another trail there too. You want to try it? Yeah. There we go. We're exploring. We're going on a new adventure right here on the new trail. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Go ahead. Look, a compass. <laughs> oh, they got a bike. They got a tire pump. That's convenient. Donated by the Rogers Area Trail Supporters. Well, you can do a lot of stuff with that. Hang up your bike and work on it. And we're on, we're walking on wood. It's beautiful. Yeah, I've got some nice little structures here that you could uh, have a gathering in. It's a good walking stick right there. It's like Sherlock Holmes and always have. Ooh, yeah. I like the sign of that. Oh, uh, well, that was fun. Well, hydration department. I've got a different sort of drinking routine. I put, uh, instead of just drinking my favorite diet soda, which is Fresca, uh, I put fruit juice, uh, and sometimes even a little water in there. So, getting a little more hydration in my normal routine. So, talked about hydration. Talked about some more diet stuff, the new snacks that I'm eating. Uh, it's just good to see that my diet is starting to look a little healthier now. Um, before it was all about calories, and now, even though I I can't, it, oh yeah, I did. I had zucchini pizza for pizza crust. last night. It was it? Well, it wasn't zucchini. Yeah, because the crust was made of zucchinis mixed with, uh, you know, blended up, shredded, and mixed with uh, eggs and some like 20 different spices and um, and uh, cheese. And then you just put regular pizza stuff on it. For me. That's pepperoni and mozzarella cheese, some red pepper, some Tabasco, of course, and that guy's going up the hill. Uh, so that was delicious. So, you know, I'm still not completely convinced that that's, that's got to be healthier because it's more vegetables and I need more vegetables in my, in my life. Uh, so there you go. Delicious. I will probably try that again maybe even make it myself i have been reading the blue zone solution by dan butner and this was recommended to me now i'd heard about the blue zones years ago when it, the first book came out and i you know i didn't know much about the book but i just kind of heard people start talking about it. there's a lot of buzz about it and uh dan butner the wrote this book so now he's got he was just studying these uh, areas where people live longer and but i did hear that uh so my interview with anastasia the nutritionist uh, she recommended that when i asked about how to live longer because this is about communities where people uh, live generally uh, you know long lives so uh, i've been reading some more in that and i'm gonna be talking about that uh, quite a bit i'm sure it's really interesting this book in particular is about uh, taking all that research howdy, and using it to try to build communities in the United States that are like these communities where people live longer and uh, he's had some success with that and it's obviously something he's very passionate about he's been working on it for uh, over a decade so more to come on that um, was mentioned first in episode 90 if you want to check that one out also if you want to see my face you can look at that one i'll be actually doing an interview 
and there's a video of it on YouTube, which you can get to my channel by going to runningafever.com slash YouTube or searching for running a fever, all one word on YouTube. So it's been great talking to you about my new diet and how things are working out. And I uh, really thank you for listening. And I hope you will keep the fever. And that's it for today. Bye-bye. This is the Padua Podcast Network. PadawaMedia.com